My name is Nurse Riley. In the mid-70s, I worked as an RN in this special unit that was set up in Appalachia. In East Tennessee, those small mountains, smoky. There were two different units set up, one of which was medical, the other of which was psychiatric. My job was pretty simple, really. All I had to do was educate the women who came in on different forms of contraceptive, birth control, disease prevention, you know, how to not fuck your relatives, things like that. Fairly easy job, really. One day, things were different. I get a phone call from a psychiatrist who was down from New York working at the psychiatric unit, a Mr. Suyong. And he had a special assignment for me. He was working on some sort of uh, dissertation or book on the sociopolitical ramifications of women putting body glass inside them. So uh, this was my job. And on the other line, he said, uh, No, sorry. I'm sitting over a lady by the name of Agnes Ann. Now, Agnes Ann has put some broken bottle of glass inside of her. And your job, uh, Nurse Riley, is to remove it. Inside her? Nurse Riley, for God's sake, I'm just asking you to perform a task. Remove it, and whatever you do, don't ask her how or why it got there. Agnes Ann came into the office. I mean, she was a pretty typical girl as far as mountain women go. You know, strong bones, weak teeth. She had on this calico print cotton dress that looked like she'd worn it her entire life, like it started out dragging the ground, and as she grew taller, it hit her knees. I wanted her to be comfortable, so as she got in the stirrups, I told her to tell me a story from her childhood. She squinted and thought for a moment, and then she said, hmm, Nurse Riley, I remember this one time when I was out in the front lawn and I was making a clover flower necklace for my mama. Well, the sun was shining all so pretty and yellow, just about to set, really, and then it started raining up the biggest old rain. I couldn't even finish the necklace. That scared me half alive. I ran inside. I ran inside and I said, Mama, Mama, how is it possible? How is it possible for the sun to be shining, for it to be raining? Won't the rain put it out? And Mama said, Agnes Ann, honey, when the sun is shining and it's raining, that means the devil's beating his wife. Did your mama ever tell you a story like that, Nurse Riley? about the devil beating his wife. That story scared me to death. I still think about it today. I mean, what on earth could she do to make the devil so mad? I'd finished removing all of the bottle glass. From Agnes Ann's interior, I could see that this had been going on for years. The scarification was overwhelming. It laid on the table between us. I knew what I could not ask her but I knew what I could, and so I said, Agnes Ann, why did you decide to have the glass removed now? I mean, today in particular. And Agnes Ann looked up at me between those spread legs and the stirrup, and she said, why, Nurse Riley, because I've had enough pain. Because I've had enough pain.